How dare you? For one and for two? There. Finally. This seems more accurate. <laughs> Alright, while you guys are duking it out, I'm gonna go into the arena. I'm gonna get a flesh. I'm gonna get a duckling. I'm gonna get a rule. I'm gonna get a duckling. I'm going to end my turn and say goodbye to the misshapen nuts and say hello to the... Inedible glasses. Improper- well, how, how about some alliteration? The low-key lollygags? We keep it on the down low? <laughs> Despite this game's childish appearance, it is so cutthroat, it's kill or be killed. You think this is a little baby game for babies? You're wrong. This is a little baby game for adult tryhards. If I played this when I was a kid, I would have probably... ...been cr just been close to tears so many times. I don't think I would have played it. I wouldn't have liked it. Um, what do we want? I think maybe we just do a little roll. Yeah, we'll buy a couple of picks. Yeah, I'll take another roll. Yeah, I will just sell this fish for a duckling. Investing in my future. This is like the world's worst team. This is gonna be another loss. But next turn, I'm gonna be so strong. Shh, be, yeah, be very quiet. I'm lolly gagging right now. Alright? Don't tell my boss. I'm supposed to be working. How did I win that? <laughs> At least that, you go to hell before you die. Yeah, when you die, they they don't tell you that Limbo is just being in the sap arena over and over again until you finally get a win and then you get to go to heaven. Streamer post, worst sap team ever asked to not play with cute pets ever again. Asked to leave. Oh my gosh. I would love an otter, but... Oh frick, I should have- I should have froze it and then sold my duckling. I might just hold on to the duckling a little while longer. Maybe we can start building out to pill later. Maybe we just roll. Maybe I take a stout to sell. When we get to turn five. It's too random though. I don't know how I feel about this though. I'm just gonna go to go with the good old fashioned ant here and put a cherry on um my clownfish. <laughs> Burbis, hello! <laughs> The supplies agent could climb straight out of hell with a uh, with agent superior super auto pet skill. If this was the case, agent core could definitely claw his way out of hell multiple times even. Yeah, I really like the ambient noises as well. But I should probably turn it down a little bit because the battle music's kind of loud. A dunk 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 a dunk dunk. Dun, 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 dun. It's intense. Okay, let's merge up one of our pigs. We'll buy these tamarins, we'll roll. We'll roll once more. Okay, I'm just gonna take a goldfish to reduce the gold of next turn. I'm- I'm investing in the future right now, because I don't know where this game is going. I cry every time my melons get popped from snipers. So true. Slosh slosh. <laughs> Oh, 
Have fun, James. Yeah, what are your expectations for the upcoming Dark and Gritty Super Otter Pets Hollywood adaptation? I really hope it would be like the cyberpunk anime was to cyberpunk. That's what I hope from the upcoming Gritty Sap adaptation. Another clownfish. Look at how many animals we'd have just so close to leveling up. Including the clownfish. Maybe we could do a weird little- I mean, we're gonna be summoning a, summoning a golden retriever anyway. Let's do a weird little sea turtle kind of thing. That gives us some options. I don't know what I'm doing. Never mind, the pie tamarind is just gonna eat all our cherries and we're gonna thank it for it. Falcon. I wonder if we could get a falcon going. I wonder. If we put some garlic on him, maybe, and if we get a buffing unit such as the sea lion to give him some health. Maybe. Although this doesn't really feel like the weekly for it, I feel like to get that to happen, you really need to be able to scale it. Edge Runners was actually so good. It was. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was better than I even expected. I was blown out of the water. Oh, thank you, Maine. Thanks for dropping by, and I hope you enjoyed as well. That was on Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Anime coming out. There's an anime coming out? This is news to me. <laughs> yeah, I could see it being an anime. Like, it is a comic after all. Uh, I don't- you know, I'm getting cold feet when it comes to the falcon. I don't think we can do it. An eel, on the other hand? This is weird. I'd like some summons instead. I'm not gonna summon a pig just yet. Two clamfish? Okay, we definitely need to put a cuke on it, though. I'm just gonna freeze one of the clownfish. I watched the anime then play the game and was so freaking pissed at how bad it was. Yeah, the game is nothing compared to the anime. Like, the game is its own thing. And if you like it, then, like... I think people expected the game after that to be exactly like the anime. Did you watch Alice in Borderland? I don't know. Yeah, they're apparently releasing it on Netflix with all the OG cast for the uh, Scott Pilgrim one. I don't know if I watched that. I feel like I did watch one of, one of those types of shows. I gotta see the trailer or something to like jog my memory. Okay, a moose! Finally! A good buffer. And also, this shop here is actually looking mighty fine for a moose. And we even got a sea lion. My team has no utility, but... It's gonna have a lot of strength. I think what we do is we send the sea turtle away off into the abyss. We could try to keep a turtle around to pill it, but I don't know if I want to do that. Friends ahead, help! I'll put the moose there. Um, I'll just buy this clownfish for no particular reason, just to use all my gold and feel good and get a 4-4. Maybe we can buff up our eel really quickly. This is a weird team. This this is the kind of team I'm not really used to. It seems to be working out at least for now. 
Okay, okay. Excellent. How goes the lobby, gamers? Yeah, how's the lobby doing? Since I last left ya. Grab the clown, yes! Frick yeah! Extra 1-1! One, one. Did they ever fix that one road where cars crash for no reason? I think they have fixed a lot of things. I don't know about that one specifically. The thing is, the problem I have with the cyberpunk game is the same problem I have with like every current day RPG is just... They're so... Mm, they're so... They don't have character anymore. Even something like cyberpunk. You know what I mean? Like, when you could choose options from an RPG back in the day, like in, in the original Fallout, you could have your intelligence at one, and all options would just be like caveman speak. Like, you just could not function if you had one intelligence. It was stuff like that. It was options being unlocked from the skills you gain that I miss. It gave games a lot of flavor, and like, it made each playthrough very different, potentially. I don't know why they stopped doing that. I think they have fixed most, but then Cyberpunk just became a generic open world without anything funny that saves it from... Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that other RPGs suffer from. Yeah, the open world 500 hour game is pretty overdone at this point. I agree. It's like, I don't have time to invest into an RPG like that unless it's gonna just be a... Just be so wacky. Like, I'd go back and play Oblivion and probably have a fun time. Also, Johnny Silverhand is not a redeeming character. <laughs> I saw the new John Wick and it just it's just reminding me how Keanu Reeves acts. He's a good John Wick, but like... <laughs> Thankfully, he doesn't speak a lot in those movies. He just goes like, yeah. What are you doing here? Just that kind of stuff. Like, his his cool one-liners are just someone says something out of pocket and he goes... He looks like, are you kidding me? And the sh he just goes, yeah. <laughs> Keanu <laughs> won some record for least amount of words said in a starring role. You know, he's 58 though and still doing quite a few of his, uh, his own stunts. Even though he injured himself. Hi, hello, welcome to the stream. And thank you for the leaderboard. Let me, let me update that before I forget. I don't know why Brad is in the bozo corner. I don't remember why we did that. Congrats to the winners, though! See, Kelby? You're just one more resulted being in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> See, I think the thing about Cyberpunk is they made Johnny Silverhand a main character with a lot of lines and they really should have just not had him speak. <laughs> His name is Brad Armpit? Oh yeah! Yeah, that's why Brad's in the bozo corner. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. I'd repress that memory. Streamer, that's so rude. I mean, this is... That's coming from a place of love. Like, I love Keanu Reeves kind of acting because it reminds me of like... It reminds me of The Matrix. It reminds me of those old movies that are just campy. His acting is campy, and I adore it. But in a super serial game like Cyberpunk, it's like, they maybe shouldn't have made him speak so much. I love Keanu Reeves, he should shut up. My father just saved the day just as I'm running out of tea. He was like, you want coffee? I think Keanu also made some comedy movies. Oh yeah, I think he has been in a couple of 
I, you know, I haven't seen a lot of Keanu Reeves movies past, like, Cyberpunk. No, sorry, Cyberpunk is not a movie past John Wick and, uh, The Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Agent's here! I mean, uh, hello, hello, Agent, hello. I didn't know the VTuber Sap community was such a small world. Bug it, we ball. <laughs> oh, I would pay to see a Joni Silverhand played by Nicolas Cage. Now that would have been just an off-the-walls Joni Silverhand. I love Nicolas Cage. I love his acting. I love how he's in really serious movies now. Have you guys seen The Color Out of Space? Or The, col the Color- Yeah, The Color Out of Space. The Lovecraftian one. He's so fun. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. He was great in Point Break and Hardball. Okay, that's good to know. I should really watch more movies. Have you seen Mandy? I've been meaning to. Isn't he gonna be in a new, like, vampire movie as well? <laughs> Not a movie I define as super serious. Yeah, but, like, it's it takes itself seriously. The director has a... He, he's got a good way of handling the uh, Lovecrafty and stuff. It's like serious enough where it's like, ooh, ooh, spooky. But it's not so serious that it's like, okay, well, you know, this movie is now up its own ass. <laughs> My favorite Nicolas Cage role is in David Lynch's Wild at Heart. Ah, David Lynch fan. Someday I will finish Twin Peaks. Someday. I keep starting it and stopping it. If Nick Cage is really just yelling and grunting a lot, he does it really well. He's so good at yelling. Okay. Have the moderators asked you? This is this is an English channel, by the way. And for their sake, we ask that you speak English. Okay. You can you can go in a little time out here. To the dungeon! Go ahead, Jack. Call me a tyrant. Let's freeze this falcon. Mm, nothing here we really want. <laughs> Nick Cage just screaming about apples. I really need to watch more movies. Like I've been I've been slacking. What if I want to speak a hamster? Well, you're gonna look like an insane person in the chat room and the mods will probably just be confused. I'm gonna try to buff up this wheel. Above them. Oh frick! This would have been so good! Wait, 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 we have one more roll. I'll take it, I'll take it. Better than nothing. Please go on the eel. Squeak. <laughs> Through the dungeon and he was never seen again. Few people return from the dungeon and... ...live to tell the tale. Um... You know, let's just send everyone on a nice little vacation if they miss the Haven chat. All right, maybe you just need a little vacation. Jamalia, hello. <laughs> How are you? Okay, but consider the cyberpunk sequel where your AI ghost implant thing is just Danny DeVito. Not even a character in the universe, just straight up Danny DeVito. Oh my god. I think I think you've done it. You like tapped into what we want as a society, and that's just Danny DeVito in our heads. It's going good. <laughs> My time in the arena is going a lot better than uh, me fighting chat. 
as you can see by the leaderboard. You guys are too good. Let's do a little roll. We'll freeze these two threes. Um, I'll just roll again. Perhaps I take just a two two. I can roll once more until the tamarind. Ooh, that was better. Oh frick, we have the microbe and turtles coming back because we got pills. As well, with with melons and turtles and praying mantises. I'm always excited when I see the microbe and a turtle. Do you remember the teams of yore that were just like microbe in front and then like butterflies? Nothing but butterflies. Danny DeVito is the baby girl we need. He is so baby girl. <laughs> this isn't a ham chat language stream, guess B. <laughs> I'm just gonna look crazy. Yeah, I don't think we want to mess with a praying mantis. At least this late. Buff the heel, please, Moose. You stupid Moose! Loving the head cap? Thank you. I think it looks quite fetching on me. I should ask my model papa for a hat like that. Yeah, can you give me a beret? But, like, not a beret. It's like one of those hats that elderly ladies wear. Yeah, I kind of have, like, a whole persona going on. Okay, fair enough. The first person I've seen happy about microbes. Really? It can't just be me. The head cap. Nice. <laughs> um. I guess I could take a white tiger to buff up the eel instead of the fried tamarind. In fact, that's what we do. I know our moose is going to be a little bit upset, but... He's going to help us out. Moose sucks, shut up. Shut your freaking stupid mouth. How dare you? Moose has saved me so many times. You will not slander the moose. You come into my stream and you say that to a Canadian? Yeah, I can't help it that you're objectively wrong. F to your pet. Listen. You can tell me what's an F tier pet if I see you on the leaderboard. Get that level up. Woo! <laughs> I need me a babushka streamer, yes. Fine, okay, yeah, do it. That's the call to action right there. We're on tier 6, let's freeze these guys here. I'm gonna can food. I'm gonna roll. Gonna freeze that bozo. I'm gonna can food. And you know what? I'm not gonna roll. I'm just gonna take my 3-3 and put a garlic on my clownfish, who is so strong. Yeah, I won using a moose. I won using a moose as well. Moose is only up to if you suck at using it. You see, I used to be in that boat. I just didn't understand how it worked. And then they kept changing it, so I was like, I'm just even more confused. Father is right here. Father is on S tier. In status, F tier in ability. But we still love it. Yeah, which always being a goofy goofster. That's why we love him. Can't believe the clownfish has just been with us this whole time. I think we sell our sea lion. He is only level one. Give me a roll. Oh, frick. No, I- I can't freeze chocolate anymore because of the moose. 
The only downside of the moose. Oh, baby. Who needs chocolate when you've got a cow? I'd love to freeze the zebra for the next turn. But that's okay. Now he's gonna pop off. Yeah, I could chocolate the moose. But then I'd have to go in with a force squad, and that scares me. Yeah, Goldfish's ability is really nice. But your rated stats are just so... so sad. We're at that point in the game where we're gonna be fighting teams that actually have proper setups. And what do I have going for me? I just have stats right now. Now, what I could do here is sell the moose and pick up a drag- or... You know what? Drag and a moose kind of work together a little bit, but then we'd have to sell another unit that is actually useful. One stinky moose. You're right. The moose probably is odorous. So what? Dang, big eel boy. Yeah, my eel is huge. Yeah, the way- I was hoping to level it up. Yeah, let's just freeze this guy. Do a little roll. Do another little roll. Oh, this works out so perfectly. I'm gonna waste a gold, but who cares? We'll buy a Lipard. Put him in the front. Yeah, that's fine. That gold came from a pig anyway. Don't call my moose musky chat room. The Loki Lollygags versus the soothing shirt. Uh, it's a tough praying mantis. But look at my eel! You're gonna need more peanuts than that. Yeah, dragon moose seems like a really good combo. In my mind, it just made sense. Okay, buy me this moose. Nice! You know what? I don't need the lioness anymore. Ooh. Okay, so... What I could do here is level up my eel. We'd have to take that dragon or we'd lose it. I could also level up the dragon. But I want the eel to get plus 100% health. It'd just be straight up a 2050. Although with the moose buffing, maybe that doesn't matter too much. Let me just do this first. Then I'll decide what I want. Yeah. Okay, this this was a weird way of doing it. I was gonna level up my dragon, but I I Yeah no, we should probably invest in the dragon if he's gonna stick around. Anyways. You go, Moose! Jockey eel. Yeah, in my mind the eel is just gonna get buffed up that his even his ability won't really matter that much. Like he's already at fifty health. I just level one. Victory! Oh my god, we're one away. Yum 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 yum. New coffee acquired. The dragon's so nice because we can just get rid of those pesky level ones to get the most of out of our moose here. 
Um, maybe I should start putting garlic on our units. I know it's no Malone, but still. Garlic is useful. Maybe I freeze it for now. Maybe I freeze this turtle as well. Okay, so what we're going to do... Oh! Chat room! What if we started building a scorpion? It's always been my dream, you see. <laughs> we could just buff him up. He would be insane. Think about it. Achoo! Now let's give a garlic to our moose. And we're just gonna go. You are nine trophies in, I know, but a ham can dream. Let her cook. <laughs> Your honor, I'm cooking. Okay, this team is just a sweaty team. Like, there's, there's no way. They're going on for the 10 win. Your honor, she's burning the food. You're, you're burning the food. Fine, I will sell my stupid little scorpion then. Who cares about dreams anyway? Let's go. Hi, smile. Stop freezing floors? How about you play how you want, bozo? Just for that, I'm rolling past the sloth. Yeah, I see it, Jet. Welcome back to the cage frick. I come back to sloth? Well, not for long. <laughs> you think you can tell me what to do? If you roll, I'm unsubbing. subbing if you roll who's to say you wouldn't have subbed anyway you're probably like you're talking out of your ass but the dragon buff it's just one dragon buff you're right though it is it is a dragon buff Did you for the buff? <laughs> Anyways, crocodile. <laughs> Hello, Aki. Welcome back. Thank you, Witcho, for the community sub. Smoly, look at those peanuts. Now that is a sweaty team as well. See, they would have just killed the sloth. And that would have also been just as fricked up. But you know what? Yellow show, instead of having a whole Twitch chat angry at you, I took the aggro there. <laughs> Gio teaches us the concept of letting go. <laughs> I wouldn't have worked out. I can't see a world where it would have worked out. The Chia experiment is a failure. Cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> where, where are the adioses to the sloth? Adios. Hem ha ha. Hello. Letting go of sloth and letting go of her win. I wouldn't have won yet. 
This person would have taken all the aggro of everyone being super angry at them. I didn't want them to to have that on their like conscience. <laughs> they would have had that on their conscience forever. They would have been I ended the sloth run. And I can't have anyone live with that. That's just as fricked up. So you know what? I needed to do something fricked up. Okay, I was like, this is why she has Mayoshi. <laughs> Where's the slot? <laughs> it's okay, I'm sure we'll get another one in like 10,000 games. Right? I'm guessing he's gonna be at the very end. Where is he? Which one of these is sloth shaped? I can't read, so I, I can't see any of these names. Got him for my lifetime. Nice. That was my, that was my first legitimate slot. I got one on the test server, and then I didn't have an account. Check the S. I can't read. Both is hidden. Really? So you're saying, no harm, no foul. The secret animal the government doesn't want you to know. Sloth don't exist. Chat, you're crazy. You're insane. What are you even talking about, sloth? Frickin'. Name's already taken already. Which one are you? Come on in, chat. <laughs> 